My record is so pretty. Let's go, Freddy! <laughs> Love it so much. The record is cute. Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up with the pompons I am Shantae the mother of the beautiful blue that is sitting here before you and in this video we are doing four cute Valentine's Day hairstyles because it is February the month of love as well as black history month honey. now before we go any further let me not forget to invite you to hit that subscribe button if you are new to our channel to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey mama hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always always so let's go ahead and continue into this tutorial i have my lovely baby girl boo the youngest and we are doing a heart part dead center right in the middle of her head and then we're going to take that heart part turn it into a ponytail and create two uh, plaits out of that ponytail so creating a heart is very very simple i know it can seem difficult and it may look like a lot is going on i am a perfectionist so i just like to go over my parts to make sure that they are you know equal you know i, I I try to bring in my geometry skills when it comes into parting. I'm not a great parter to begin with. Or I don't know if that is a skill, a parter. But anyways, I'm not the best. So this does take some time. It probably took me about 10 minutes just to get that part to the perfection that I wanted it to. After I got done doing that part, I was tired, honey. So the back of her head just went into a bun because I, I, was, I was ready. I was done. I was ready to be done with this style. So I'm just slicking down her hair. I'm going in with the Eco Styler gel and this thing I've had for like five years okay I don't know if gel expires and if it does I'm, I mean we, I've been using it it's high it ain't going in the trash okay so I'm pinning that all down as you can see and then I'm gonna do a simple bantu knot in the back because that is the most like easiest way to put a bun in my girl's hair so you see those little pieces that I left out on the front, those little edges? Yeah, I'm using that to keep the braids from like falling all in her face. My baby girl is very active in preschool and I don't want her to come home with a black eye because her beads was smacking her all in the face while she was playing. So that's all I'm doing there. It's just taking that little patch of hair and braiding it into the braid. So the braids are somewhat secured, okay? Then I'm going in with some cute little pom-poms. I purchased these off of Amazon. And of course, I'm going in with some Valentine's Day colors. Red, pink, and white is usually what you see all over Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to finish it off with these gorgeous beads from Couture, Crown Couture. See, this is what I mean when I say my baby just warms my heart. She just loves every hairstyle that I do on her. You know, she's my little Sour Patch kid. One minute she loves me, the next minute she's insulting me. So now we're moving on to Kaylani. She has this T part going down the middle of her head. She has a part going from ear to ear across the crown and then one going directly down the middle. We're gonna create another part parallel to that part that's going straight down the middle. And then we're going to create small little squares and rubber band those up, of course using some uh, Valentine's Day um, colors, red, pink, purple. I, I think I did purple with this one. Well, I recorded me doing red and pink, but then I went back and changed it because I didn't finish this video. Be Lonnie messed up her hair. It's, it's a long story. So anyways, you see me doing red and pink, but I went back and did red, pink, and purple. And that's all we're doing. We're connecting all these small little mini squares to create this cute little design down the front. And then after we do that, we're gonna create those two ponytails. So where you see those clips at, little hair clips, yep. Go ahead and form the little pigtails right there. And then I was debating whether or not I wanted to do a braid out or if I wanted Lonnie to wear her curly curls, her natural curls, like just put some product in and do like, you know, um, at first I recorded doing the braid out. I then went back, washed her hair and cause I, she messed up the style. I had to redo it. Yeah, just, you know, the life of a content creator. 
so you're probably wondering why I didn't do any like pop-ups of any products that I used on her hair and that's because I mainly just use water Lonnie's hair is dirty in this video take so um yeah now this is me redoing the style and I only recorded the ending because that's all I needed was the ending because it was pretty much the same style I just did it a little bit different and this is where I didn't do the wash or the braid out instead I let her wear her curly curls her regular like this is Lonnie's curly hair like isn't it so cute like I think I'm hooked now I have to do more styles like that, you know? Anyways, moving on to Calista's next Valentine's Day hairstyle. So we're doing another heart part on my baby girl Calista here. And the easiest way to do this is to create a middle part or a center part and just create two or one side of each heart around that, that middle part. And this is just to make sure that the part is centered where you want it to be. And you know, it's just pretty much just making a hump here. Um, the heart is upside down from your view, so it looks like I'm just drawing an ass in my baby's head, but it, it's a heart. <laughs> now now that I'm, you know, like re-reviewing re what I've recorded, I realize I just recorded my baby getting an ass drawn in her head, but it's a heart. <laughs> it's a heart, guys. So now you're probably wondering what we're going to do with the hair that is surrounding the heart. Not to worry, you know, we're going to figure that out. So I'm cleaning up her parts going in with the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. This is like a, a better version of Let's Jam to me. And then it smells good. I've, I've said that plenty of times on my channel, but I just, I have to reiterate on how good this gel really smells. It smells so good. So now we are going into what we're doing with the hair surrounding the heart. And I just decided to create some like rubber band, you know, connecting the dots kind of style using Valentine's Day colors yes ma'am you you guessed it Valentine's Day colors so I use red pink and purple elastic bands on her head and we're going to just pretty much draw these connecting the dots around the heart pretty much now once we get to the back we're going to gather all that hair into one ponytail and you know you'll, you'll see like it'll it'll look good in the end I know you're probably like questioning it right now this is one of those just trust the process kind of things right now okay just just give it some time All right, so here you have it. I've connected the dots on both sides surrounding the heart part. And now we have everything pretty much going to the back. And we're gonna ponytail the back as well. The ponytail that is created in the back is then gonna get braided up and that is gonna be connected to the heart ponytail. So everything essentially is just being connected all into one ponytail. Now I was debating whether or not to create another bantu knot bun or to do another, or to do a curly ponytail. I decided to do the curly ponytail because after I did Kehlani's natural curls, I was obsessed. So once I secure this ponytail using a pink cute little hair tie, I'm then going to wet her hair using just a regular degular spray bottle, detangle it real quick. And then I'm gonna go in with the Mayel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie. Um, God, this stuff smells so good. It is very, very fragrant. So if you're not a fan of fragrant hair products, this probably isn't one for you, but I love hair products that smell absolutely delicious. And this is one of them. It's like top tier when it comes to fragrance. I'm then going to use a Boar Bristle Brush. I purchased this one off of Amazon because I couldn't really find one in Walmart that looked like it was gonna be sturdy enough for me. So I will have the link, of course, down below in the description box for all of the products accessories all that good stuff is listed in our Amazon store so I'm going in with this board brush and I'm just pretty much just smoothing out the curl I saw this on TikTok where the girl just took the brush and kind of just smoothed out each individual curl and then I'm gonna squish it all together so that the products can kind of like get up in those strands and you can really see her curls they're nice and spiraled I love it and um, I'm just choking out my boo again because she's my sour patch and this is it we added a cute little bow on top because why not and now her heart looks like a heart instead of an ass yay all 
All right, last but not least, we have Kehlani finishing off this hair tutorial with a, another cute little weekly hairstyle. So this is like the middle of the school week. So I wanted to do something quick and easy, but I, there's no such thing as quick and easy when it comes to me, okay? I'm very dramatic, very over the top. I like to show up and show out, all right? So I decided to do like some crisscross connect the dots going on in the back of her head. I've done this style plenty of times on Kehlani's hair and it's just one of my faves because it's one of the styles that lasts more than two days, okay? <laughs> All right, high five, mom. So I am essentially just creating a part and we're gonna crisscross these parts to one another. I'm going in with the Pretty Strands Leave-In Conditioner and the Buttercream because her hair is in desperate need of some moisture during these winter season. I'm going in with my elastic bands, of course, pink, red, and purple, okay, Valentine's Day colors. And um, it's best for me to just start off doing the ponytails first and then go back in and do my crisscross connect the dot styles because you know all that hair trying to crisscross and then I might you know mess it up somewhere so it's just a lot easier with all this hair that Lonnie got to just create the ponytails first and then go back and start crisscrossing. So as you see, we have six ponytails going on in the back and now I'm going to braid each of those ponytails and let's start crisscrossing. So I'm taking the bottom one, it's crossing over at the top. The other bottom one's gonna cross over to the left side, to that one, and then we're gonna take the other one, crisscross it over, and then you see what we're doing here, right? Okay, connecting the dots, honey, and we're cre creating these cute little X's right here in the back of her head. Yep, looks good. We have crisscrossed and connected the dots with all six of those ponytails on the back of her head. And as you can see, it looks so nice and neat and uniform. Now that we've made it to the top, I'm going to create two Bantu knots at the top and then secure those Bantu knots using some pom-poms. Those same colors that we have going on with the elastic bands are the same colors I'm gonna use. All right, and this is it for the girls' Valentine's Day hairstyles for the week. Thank you guys for joining us on another hair tutorial here on our channel, putting up the pom-poms. We greatly appreciate having y'all. Don't forget to share our content, like, and comment. We are on the way to 10,000 subscribers. We would greatly help if y'all would help us reach that goal this year. That is our goal for 2022. So here's just a small review on the hairstyles that we just did. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.